Today we're going to be creating some fussy cut doors. If you don't know what fussy cutting is, it's cutting out really fine detail of an image. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to need is my Archer and Olive agenda or planner. I'm going to be using the monthly calendar spread to be able to do this. My new Archer and Olive perforated notebook paper and then I'm going to be using my Ali Kach beautiful coloring in book with the most beautiful florals and blooms. I really wanted to find something that had some really strong detail around the outside that I could fussy cut. I love the fact that there is velvet pages in this coloring book. It's just one of my most favorite things and I'll link the book below so you can get your own. It's really lovely. So the design I decided on was this triangle, but it was a bit too big to fit in my A5 planner. But it had really strong outlines. So what I did was I photocopied it to be a little bit smaller. I did this just by photocopying and bringing the size down to an A5 size. I once went a little too small and I went a little too big. So I found the perfect size in the middle that I was really happy with. I then went ahead and started roughly cutting around the edges so that we could have just a rough cut before we started getting into the fussy cutting which is far more detailed. I started fussy cutting with my X-Acto knife and every so often I would use my scissors just to fill out or cut out a little bit of the extra white paper. You can see that this takes a very long time. It took me at least 25 minutes to be able to fussy cut all of these pieces out of the design. But once I was done, I was really happy with the intricate details that this brought. Now on to sizing up our piece of paper that we're going to use and sizing it up in our notebook. I'm taking the A5 notebook paper here from Archer and & Olive and I love that it's perforated. It means I can use however many pieces of paper I would really like to use and if I mess up I can just tear another one out without damaging my notebook. So I'm happy with it just being a little bit off center and I'm also then going to size it up. I can't decide if I want it on the weekly spread but I think that I'm happy with the idea of putting it on the monthly spread. I'm then going to size it up as well just to make sure that the flap fits the size of the design beautifully as well because I really want to feature Ellie's work in the middle of my month. It's absolutely a stunning design and I'm so happy that I found this coloring in book. I'm going to size up my paper and then I'm going to add some watercolor over it just to give it a bit of texture and to give it a bit of color behind the design because I really want the design to stick out. Okay, so I'm going to add some purple. I really felt like just adding it something a little bit darker and um, the purple I thought was really pretty. So once I've finished drying the purple, I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers alphabet punch just to punch out the letters of July, just so that I know at the top of the little flap that I can see it says July. Now that everything's ready, I'm now going to stick my design onto the page. I'm going to make sure that it's fixed really nice and strongly.
There's a bit of blank space on the back end of my flap so I thought I'll just add a little note sticker on the back just to take any notes. You can use this space for to-do lists or monthly memory keeping or gratitude tracker. There's a ton of things that you could use this page for. I just decided that it would be fun to put some notes in there before I got started. Now I'm going to grab some washi tape and I'm going to stick the washi tape on the back end of the flap and then I'm going to line it up so that the washi tape sticks on to the monthly calendar as well. By rounding the edges I just give it a little bit of an extra uh, look, like a finished look to it which makes me really super happy to see. Now let's get started with filling in the monthly spread. I absolutely found so much fun in doing this. I just added a bit of watercolor, some stickers, date, I filled in the dates and added the month at the top. I added some washi tape and some additional little stickers down the bottom just to give it that really kind of purple vibe. Really happy with how this turned out for my month. As always, thank you so much for joining us. I had so much fun doing this spread and I'm looking forward to adding a whole bunch more into it. I'm going to be adding Myers-Briggs and a variety of other personality traits into it. So follow along to see how that turns out. See you next time.